Hi everyone. So we're going to make a game design using a template. So what I've got set up here is a template for iPad. And we're going to do the thumbnails within this. So I've started one thumbnail where I'm sketching within and I've got a mask. Basically, this template is set up to be ready to be used as a common iPad 9.7 inch viewport which is 768 by 1024. You can turn that, that on, or you can turn on the HD format for 1920 by 1080. And essentially, if you're working with the game design or film design, you would turn on the, the film one. You can work on this uh, layer right here that I've already masked for you. So if we start working with a brush, and I've got um, uh, Ultimate Palooza, I'm going to try it. Working happy HB. Feeling happy today. I'm going to make kind of a game design um, area. Remember, we want to work with having everything kind of point in. The nice thing about this template that I've done for you is that you won't be drawing in this area because I've masked it out. So you can only draw in those areas. So think about what you want in your game and we're just going to be able to paint within this. All right. Uh, if you want to have multiple layers, you would just kind of keep on making layers, but I would recommend dragging this uh, mask down. So I'm going to, I'm on a Mac, I'm going to option drag. If I were on a PC, I would alt drag that mask down. And then I can call these layers um, one, two, three, four, or whatever. Um, you may also consider it helpful to have a new layer. I'm going to hit B for brush and label these one, two, three, four, etc. And you might want those to be in a fun uh, font that works, and you might want it to be on the iPad itself so that we can see exactly which one you're going to do. All right, so my hope is for you to be able to start doing your game design uh, layout, starting to do your sketches in grayscale. Uh, I'm going to hit 3 for 30% opacity just to get some grayscale um, and kind of working in overlay mode. But you might just start making this, some decisions about the way you want the piece to be laid out like this, kind of a couple of different compositions, and then go more and more detailed as you go. Uh, depending on how much time you have and how much detail you want to explore. Look at your benchmarks and add those. Thank you.